Next, we're big wave surfing with the stars of the upcoming film, Wave Riders. The mention of big wave surfing usually draws images of the sun and sand in Hawaii, California and Australia. However, the latest surf film to make a splash in the cinema is the critically acclaimed Wave Riders, which challenges the public's preconceptions about the sport, showcasing Ireland's coast as a world-class surf venue. There's a strong surf culture in Ireland now, and for a long time it was underground, and, and it is like a little secret club over there. But now it's, it's one of the fastest growing sports in the country, and on the global map, Ireland would be in the top 10 places to surf in the world now. And I think a few years ago, people wouldn't have even thought of that. Wave Riders starts with a look at the roots of big wave surfing, which includes the story of the half Irish surfer George Freeth, the man credited as being the forefather of mainstream surfing in the USA. It was kind of surprising the director just found um, a little story about this uh, George Freeth, who was, was in the late 1800s, um, and he was found to be half Irish, half Hawaiian. And when surfing was wiped out by the missionaries in Hawaii, George Freeth was responsible for bringing surfing back. He was part royal, so he was given a surfboard as it used to be the sport of Hawaiian kings. And then he just took to the water and I think he was just a natural waterman. The film stars followed Freeth's ancestry back to its roots and from there spent two years enjoying the surf Ireland had to offer. I absolutely love Hawaii. It's beautiful waves, palm trees, big waves, you're in your board shorts. But Ireland, when it's, when it's on, when the conditions are right, the weather is nice, the waves are good. You might be cold, you're wrapped up in your wetsuits and it might be raining for a couple of weeks to get that moment, but when it happens, it's, it's gold. Gabe Davis expects the film to inspire a generation of young locals in the hope that one day those willing to brave the cold waters now will make their name on the international scene. There's a real strong um, future in Irish surfing. A lot of the guys are, are charging really incredible waves over there now and that will go globally as well. You know, they'll surf in Ireland, they'll grow up in Ireland surfing the big heavy waves and then they're going to go to Hawaii and people are going to be surprised. No surf film will be complete without mention of nine-time world champion Kelly Slater. The American joined the team in Ireland to get away from the media spotlight. Kelly Slater had just finished his eighth world title. He's got nine now. He literally wanted time out. He came to Ireland to escape the sort of hoo-ha, the media buzz about his, his uh, eighth world title that he just won. But unfortunately, we had this crew with us filming, so he kind of was thrown into another like media pit. In the film, actually, he says he wanted to come to Ireland and surf with no one. But of course, when Kelly Slater steps out of a plane anywhere, you know, the, the surfers get to know about it pretty quick. So he didn't surf with no one, but he surfed with maybe 20 people in the water. And uh, the cold water even kept him out for a while. He's used to warm water, but he loved it. Even though the film has a nostalgic element, the crew utilised modern technology to catch and film the best waves. Jet skis, I think Chris Malloy says in the film, they're a necessary evil. You don't really want to use them. You know, then maybe it's not the cleanest things, they're a bit noisy. But it's, you know, you've got to get to the spots. The spots are out to sea, maybe a mile out to sea, or they're surrounded by cliffs. If the waves are too big to paddle in, you're going to need a jet ski to help you catch the wave. And obviously for safety, if you're in trouble or your mate's in trouble, then I want him to come and get me. And the jet ski is just the way you have to do it these days. Any serious waves, you're going to have to have a jet ski in your quiver of equipment. Jet skis were a must for the last scene of Wave Riders where island surf was seen at its best. After two years of filming, the surfer's patience was rewarded when one of the biggest waves of the decade came to town. We kind of sat on the beach at dawn and we were kind of nervous because it was very serious and we were kind of panicking because we thought, is it 20 feet, is it 30 feet, is it bigger than that? And until you sort of throw yourself in there, there's no scale and once you're in, you, there's not much you can do. So. So we sort of dreamt about it and wished for it, and then it, we were lucky enough to get that moment where you know, the biggest swell in about 10 years hit the coast and we were on it and we were there and we had our, had our moment. <laughs>